We'll go back to Xenoblade Chronicles X. When we left off, I was doing a story mission until I died to the boss because frickin' Tatsu decided to show up to a enemy infested area and blow our cover because he wanted to bring us lunches. I mean, I appreciate the gesture, Tatsu, but you are now definitively dead. I see warriors who will come tired on you. Release yourself to this. Katsu! 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 So I went to the East Cave. There's an affinity mission here that requires accepting the backup request mission. The very one that I worked in the video, so. I think they're connected in some way. Uh, I wonder if maybe you can't do backup requests until you have the affinity quest. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, the quest director is correct. The quest... Yeah, the quest guider is directing me straight to this affinity which I can't do right now because I'm so I'm just not doing that. Uh... 
speed tech. Speed tech. Or he could just get stuck on the rock. He didn't do this last time. Why is he doing it this time? Come on. Okay, you know what? Just let him fall down. You know what? Like, that was weird. Because it was like he was in that same spot of deep water, but he was swimming normally. And then that time he was like sliding down the water. So I don't know what's up.
Um, Meh, where did Data pull? Er, where did Brother Pawn Tatsu go? What is Jinsu supposed to do without Brother Pawn? Huh? Oh yeah, Tatsu's not with us right now, because he's in that cave with... Because he's in that area with the, the tainted robot. <laughs> Thank you, friend. What relief to hear little Tatsu is safe. Uh, about that. About that. Yes, Tatsu always stuck in face and bragging and acting pretentious. But as big crybabies know, Tatsu not really so well. Wow, a glowing endorsement. Tatsu has finest coat of all little pom. So maybe friend can ruffle fur of Tatsu whenever friend gets cheered up. Anyway, please take good care of our little pain and butt. Wow, okay. Man, that's that's the real reason they let Tatsu hang out this, because they don't want it. We, we came back and they're like, oh wait, oh crap, Tatsu's still alive, damn it. <laughs> they are still terrible. If no Susu must buy, not buy, must have product soon, Shop of No Susu will be history. Any luck with materials for a pot hat? <laughs> Apparently I have no luck with materials for a hat. That all of them. Now No Susu just need two vibrant plumes or two fluffy tufts. You need more? No Susu, sorry. But what friend bought so far is just raw materials. Without vibrant plumes or fluffy tufts, that will be fashion abomination. Please do no susu one last favor. Fate of entire shop hangs in balance. If I get in this stuff, okay, so I need to pick one. Oh shoot, I, I should, probably should have read what they were. Friend is too high. Uh, oh well, I have fluffy tufts, so I guess we're picking that one, so I don't have to collect. Yay! No Susu will use these to make little cap. No Susu hope to keep expanding inventory and so sharp is something I didn't read it. Grandpa Pond of Fred Pond of Cousin Pond of Grandpa Pond of Granny Pond is surely happy for No Susu from Great Beyond. Humans sometimes wear hats that look similar to this. No Susu know all about it. They call it Pom Pom Beanie. So can I buy hats from this guy once I complete this quest? That could be fun. Now no Susu start a huge sales campaign about new no pawn made pom pom beans. Like, I hope this guy can send me a hat. Oh, he's wearing one. That's adorable. Yeah? Look at me! I wear cute little hats! <laughs> Coco say pom pom hat of no Susu is adorable! So nice! Coco think it would be an instant seller because it helps bring out inner cuteness of wearing. No Susu hope this is case. Oh ho ho ho! No Susu has to sell a ton and contribute for Coco. You want to sell me a hat? Yes. No. I want a hat, dude. I want a pom pom beanie. Green man can rock the beanie. I'm sexy. Just take off everything else and he's just in a beanie. Rub me, green man. <laughs> Takes on a whole new me. Okay, um... Yeah, so these are the guys. So these are the guys we want to kill. Hello there. Right, let's do this. Let's see what you've got. Oh, that's not the one right in front of me. We should weaken them just to be safe. Let's break right! Shadow strike! Side one! On the top of the tail tonight. I say we fatten him up another 500 grams or so. I'm coming to you!
I like how I'm like singing along to the music and then the music switches and there's like singing along to the music. I am truly a musical. I feel sharper than ever. Run a Siska. Wait, I have a quest that's just give materials to people. Oh yeah, that quest. The one with the two people in the helicopter that were arguing. That's right. I forgot I had that. I also didn't realize I collected everything for that already. I guess I was able to do so by just running around. I hope that unique monster blocking the entrance to the Sunlit Spring doesn't try to fight me for the 85th time. He probably will, though. At least now I'm like way higher level than him. Hello. sure I have to equip something special to do it. You know what, we'll just kill one, we'll kill the one that's along the path, and if it and if it gives me a quest update, then I'll keep then I'll kill some more. But if it doesn't, then I'll stop. Because I don't feel like checking if I actually have this weapon equipped or going I probably don't have it equipped. Overdrive, yay! Why am I using it on this guy? I don't know. Good question. Well, I didn't see any questions. Hello, Siska. Did you actually? Are you the guy Howard mentioned? He said someone was bringing parts so we could get the heli up and running again. There. Okay, yeah, these are perfect. 
should be all we need to patch the main router. Router, 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 router. Like a helicopter router. Yeah. Or, to be honest, I don't really know how to go about doing this. Like, do I connect this part to the red wire, or is it the blue one? God, that helicopter electricity whizzing sound is annoying. Frankly, I could care less as long as it flies, but Howard would have a conniption fit if I said that to him. A conniption fit? What? We actually just had another fight before we showed up. Jerk ended up chasing me out of the heli. Anyway, maybe you should think so. What? I have, what do I have to do? We might not be saying much to anyone if we crash, right? Haha. <laughs> little gallows you. What am I doing? What do I have to do for this? I should have... If I, if I actually set it as my mission, I would know. Repair the helicopter's main road. Okay, how? Do I need to, like, walk around it and click on something? I don't... what? It's not letting me click on it. Oh, I gotta, like, jump up there. That's weird. What? I can't... I can't do it while I'm in the air. What the frick? What is this? How do I fix it? Oh, I have to, like, jump back from Jenkies. No. Uh, I don't know. What? What? The blue one. Okay, we did it. What the frick was that? Looks like you've wrapped up the repairs. Slap a few random parts in and we're back in the air. Who knew it'd be that easy? Even the tail road is brewing. Thanks for your help. You're a helicopter repair expert and a damn sight tougher than Howard. Roscoe really outdid himself with you. I'll make sure he pays you once we're back in New LA. Let's all meet up back where you first met, okay? Now we just have to get back to the city without another huge fight. Dum 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 This music. Very disturbing. I think there's, isn't there a unique monster around here or something that I can... It's sort of a weird, like, sectioned off little corner of the map. What's over here? There's more of these guys. A whole other... Where am I? single song in this game that I don't just endlessly sing along to. Okay, Roscoe, hello there. Thanks. I've been waiting for you. Both Howard and Siska made it back safe. And with cargo intact, no less, we made our delivery to Granada GG with time to spare. I again begin to thank you enough. Ah, but forgive me, you'll be wanting thanks of a more practical nature I expect. Despite the ordeal, Howard and Sisko are still at each other's throats. I have no doubt they'll cause more trouble in the future. I'll keep your contact information. And... So, hey, Howard. How's your work? <laughs> Transporting cargo on a helicopter is not easy work. I know, I just saved your ass. When piloting it, yeah, shut up. Shut up. The helicopter's... you're bad. <laughs> that was the Listen. most useless conversation. Look, I appreciate that the man and have incredible technology. That doesn't mean I want to be eating lunch with them, you know? Wow, alright. Adorable, right? Whoa. 
Ooh, there's a side quest. That's the deal. I went to the Sunshine Cafe for an Sunshine Cafe for an espresso, but they couldn't make me. I guess the machine's broken or something. Anyway, I pretty much ruined my life. Joe, what? Prof oh, this looks like a fun mission. Look at this guy. This is like King Squeeze 2.0, dude. Who are you? Another of their assassins. After what happened to the last guy they sent, I'm impressed you had the beep to try me. Censored swear word subtitles with uh, random symbols. That's. This is. This is amazing. Explain the. I'm not. But ask what that strange word was. <laughs> I'm not here to give lessons to people trying to kill me. I'll fry you to a crisp. Same as your friend from before. What, what? You're, uh, not attacking me. Why aren't you attacking me? What? You're a blade? Yeah, I've heard of him. Is this guy even human? <laughs> hmm. Now that I get a better look at you, you do look rather beep! What? What? Interesting. Yes. And since Bevan's practically useless, maybe this person can help get the beep! Right then. You there, kid. Pay attention. My name is Professor... B? My name is Professor B. And 7K percent sign. What? What? What am I looking at? If you're looking for work, I have a truly amazing offer. What? Ask the pre professor what and so is it like it's not like sense it's just like random symbols. I thought it was like censoring swear words or something, but I think he just like says right. I don't understand. Oh, you heard me talking to myself, did you? Probably best for us both if you don't know it. That la this language barrier is getting to be a real hassle. Half the words from the planet I came from aren't even pronounced. The planet you came- alright, so he's not human. But he's, like, I don't recognize- what the hell is this guy? I can't even properly introduce myself. Well, there's really nothing for that mess. Just Professor B. So then, about this job. I need a few things for my current research, and I'd appreciate it if you could secure them. Should be simple enough for you. Especially if I pay you for your trouble. What are you researching? I like a kid with a healthy sense of scientific curiosity. But keeping this one a secret is good for both our health, if you catch my drift. All you need to know is that I need Taiki Sack. Head west to Waterway Tank to find some. My work is nothing you need to be worried about. So what do you say? Help me out, kid? Sure. Strange alien man. You will? Great. I knew you had a touch of it. It's not a beep, it's a noise. I've been shorthanded. Look at my assistant who had at least in his time preparing that silly spaceship. Anyway, thanks. We're both one. Through space trying to find this rock. Gotta help one another out, huh? What a strange character. There are other aliens on this planet, I guess. That's Ones right. that are not like Manon or us. Other people that are strained here. Is he a gang? He kind of looks like the same race as the Ganglion, but like, why? That doesn't make any sense. very productive, are they? With a little work, they could probably save us the trouble of retaining mechanics, don't you think? Hmm, I think they'll need about 80 pizzas per man of operation, give or take. Wait, no, we can't waste that much pizza on simple fuel. What are you talking about? Is anything troubling you? I decided to take a teeny little break because I got hungry, you know? Wow, did I get chewed out. Mm hmm, how teeny is teeny? Well, I had a snack before lunch, okay? Then I stopped for pizza, and since it was a nice day, I dozed off. And when I woke up, it was after church. I suppose the break must have been about half the day. But what's wrong with that? That's normal. 
Why do you humans get so angry all the time? Sometimes I feel like I need an anger translator. Something. I kind of like how the man on are like really relaxed, That's chill true. people. Like they're not lazy, but like Arena's nice. She's busy as all heck, but still takes time out of her schedule to get advice to fall blades out. The only reason I bothered reading this that text box just now out loud is it said something about heart to hearts when I got it. I kind of didn't know those were in this game. Hey there! Hey there! What the hell's the diviso brain? What do I do? A diviso brain basically shows you how productive you are. If that makes sense. Well, all I have to say is that I'm glad they're for blade use only, right? Yeah, that's all. Like the blades, like are constantly working on stuff, and. These guys are just kind of goofing around. Oh, I see. So this chick is their boss who chews them out for being lazy men. Yes. Mm. A man on named Juvietta showed up at my door and told me she wanted to work with me. She said that back in Oblivia, she was rescued by a human named Green. This was her way of saying thanks. But after every 15 minutes or so of work, she always gets tired and takes a fucking somewhere. She's doing this out of gratitude. I think she put a little more effort in it. It's just the man on lifestyle is like, let's vibe and chill. And the main character's lifestyle is like, uh, not that. Which is kind of interesting. Or the human, you know, the human lifestyle is like, we gotta work, work, work. For them. The man on her bike. Yeah, we chill. We chill. And then there's Professor B. I don't even know, like, what, what is, who is that? Why are, why are there assassins trying to kill him? Like, what, what? Is, is he, is he, is he, can he even be trusted? I don't know, good question. I just saw him and my immediate thought was the NPC King Squeeze from Xenoblade Chronicles 1, the uh, shady mob boss in Colony 9. Same sort of weird, like, back alley side quest character. But Professor B is even weirder. And so now, wait, Yoculum? Why am I running all the way there? Noctilum's waterway tingle. I don't even know what that is. I think it's in the bottom of the Okay, this might be kind of hard. Ah, it's probably not that hard. As you can see, I have dropped everything else I was considering doing, and I am now running around doing side quests for the strange alien man. I want to see where this goes. Yeah, I'm gonna use the fall right for this. I feel like, like I didn't, I don't really use the fall ball when I'm first exploring an area, but when I'm coming back and just looking for these very specific spots where side quests are, I'll follow the ball around all the time. I don't know why I didn't use the fall ball when I was trying to find Goishia in this area. When I was trying to progress the story and I couldn't find the story boss, like I could have just used the fall ball. No, no, I'd really rather not. Shut up. 
waterway tape on the course. Try again in a setting you'll find a lot less comfortable. Excuse me? We are like top level blade operatives. Are you challenging us? You're smart. You don't want any needless trouble. Best for everyone involved if you just cooperate with me and my identical looking goons. So, question one. What did Professor B want from you? Who are you? Yeah, who are you to be challenging me? I am the protagonist of this video game. I thought you were smart. Maybe I'm wrong. Is who I am more important than your own life? Is that a prone base over there? Alright, fine by me. I'll just invite you to a VIP room where nobody can ever get in to help you. You'll have all the time in the world to see how I do my job. Give you the gag special. <laughs> You'll never see it on my game. Okay, level 17 blade sniper. I am a top level blade operative and you are a low level scum. Scrub! Scrub lord! Prepare to die. base over here that I, I've somehow never been over here, over to this little spot, because I did not know there was a prone base here. That's interesting. The enemies are probably too high level for me, to be honest, because, like, these, these little crocodiles are, so I've got the prone on too. But that's interesting. I didn't know there was, like, a base over here. Ah, uh, I 
guy just appeared. How did he even get up? Ah! 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 What? Oh, she revived. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, because we I had them building up TP, so I guess she just used her TP to revive. Get me out of here. She really didn't need to do that. Like, I was fine. Here. Dude, I have not explored this section at all. Hello, weird. weird uh, I'm not gonna kill you because I don't know if the word will be here. Dude, I have not been here at all. There's always new things to find in the world of the world. Of the world, of the world, of the world. I ran out of battery, and so I like paused. Wait, I can just load my save. Can I? Well, I have to go to the home menu. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Whatever I was doing before, it's not worth reloading the save to continue doing it. Um, so basically, I just went down that path, right? And then I think, I guess, when I put the controller down, I must have accidentally worked to uh, one of my probes. I don't know how I did that because you have to press a lot you have to you have to tap the probe and press warp so i have no idea how i i'm doing it again for me. i have no idea how i worked to this probe by accident i don't that's bizarre because i didn't turn the game off i just kind of like left the room i could just do this can I? that's faster Return to title screens of the throne. United States. Cause I was I was going down a path with some dino guys, and then and then and then the camera ran out of battery, and so then I did some stuff, and then it came back and <laughs> weird. I still have to wait for the Miiverse connecting. Uh, connecting to a platform that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, okay. See, here we are, back where we were. Bizarre. How did I accidentally warp, dude? Oh! This is the end of the road. The end of the path, cool. Glad I wasted all that time to get one collection. Alright, well, we're fighting these guys again. Great. Okay, well, that was a ultimately pointless waste of time. Back to, back to the professor! Oh, heart to heart. And walk the heart to heart with Arena at night. Interesting. 
probably want to take that helmet off her before I... But then in order to do that, I have to find her and put her in the party. So there's, there's really no winning here. No. No. Yeah. By the no. Way. No. The Blades have set up camps outside the city that they're using as bases of operation. Can't be fun sleeping outdoors with all those engines. That's there. right. Listen. <laughs> have you seen how ripped those Harrier guys are? They must need to pump iron every day to. Oh, okay. Well, I knew that was gonna disappear. I wasn't gonna read it, but then it was kind of funny, so I did read it out loud after reading it in my head. We're gonna talk to the professor. Ah! Back. Got that cheap, got that tiky set for me. Great. Now all I need is a body frame, and I can get this jerk up and run. Was that? Somebody named Gad attacked you while you were out looking for this. That's probably my fault. He's been after my technology for a while now. He must have realized he was no match for me directly. He's decided to pump you for information. What is your technology? Put it this way. The stuff inside my brain would make a man on his head explode. They're still banging rocks together. I guess after the trouble I caused, I could make a special exception and tell you why. Try to hang on to your socks. I came from the distant terminus of time and space. I am from the future. <laughs> I might be with you humans for look like a few hundred million years down the line. So you're a crazy person. Believe me, I'm dead. That's your call, kid. Vevin laughed even harder than you when I told him. None of that changes the fact that I need to get back to my own time as soon as possible. And to do that, I need you to find me a car to serve as the Yerkakas. What exactly is a year? Oh, that's right. Doesn't get across in English. Hmm. How else to describe it? It's... Well, it's a device that overcomes the absolute wall of temporal causality. In layman's terms, it's a time machine. I've gotten word that a fellow named Graham is selling cars at a discount. Here's some cash, kid. Try to talk him into selling you the best vehicle for a while. Good luck. And while you're off doing that, I'll grab the other part I need for this experience. The quest gets stranger and stranger. Apparently Professor B is a time travel. Oh, well, there was the text again. And now it's gone. If you see, if something like, have you seen how ripped those Harrier guys are? And then something about, uh, uh, uh... My, can mimosomes even grow bigger muscles or something like that? Uh, um, Central Melville Street. That's over here, right? Can't believe we're running around town helping this guy build a time machine. I do not believe his claim of being from the future. I think he's just a crazy person. Very smart crazy person. Oh, Graham. Some car sale lot you got here. Five cars. If it's secondhand goods of ridiculous prices, you're after Graham's your man. I'll give you the deal. I'll give you deals the retail guys wouldn't dream of. Hmm? Professor B sent. Ah, nice. He's one of my best customers. Car wise, I've got a few options. On, it. on the left there, you got a standard blue model. Middle of the joke. And then we got my red beauty. What's your pleasure? Whichever you like, I'll knock a chunk off the price food. The red beauty. You have a good eye, buddy. Top of the line taste. This baby's the sweetest ride on Miro or anywhere else. Probably the most... A hundred thousand? Do I even have that? Oh, I have, like, a million credits. Sure. I, I've got money to spare. I don't care. the invisible car like this guy has.
Stone for the next dazzling chapter of science. You men aren't our disciples of science, aren't you? Now stop your whining and get in the damn car. Sorry, Professor B. Glad I think this thing is more of a tombstone than a cornerstone, you know? And I'm probably too young to die. Damn, I finally get a test rig up at work, and then you're gonna pull this crap on me? What's going on? Who's the man on? He's my worthless assistant, Fett. I give him the honor of riding in my Miramobile time machine, and he repays me with a silly tantrum. And after you went to the trouble of getting us this sweet ride. Yeah, this guy's just a crazy human. I thought he was an alien, but like, <laughs> this is. I can't decide if this is better or worse. No more excuses, Bevan. Are you trying to put all this poor man's hard work to waste? Well, I don't want to do that, but time travel seems pretty dangerous, doesn't it? I'm as intrigued about science as anyone, but I've only got one life to give to it, you know? What? You don't trust me? If you're so confident, maybe you should be the one to take it for a ride, Professor. You're weirdly insistent that I be the one who tests, you know? <laughs> well, of course. If I get struck into a straight, I'd be torn to shreds instantly. Leave it. It's fine. I didn't say anything. I think that's probably the opposite of fine. Either way, I'm not getting in that vehicle. And it appears we are at an impasse. Hey, kid, help me talk some sense into this fool. Use logic to appear to be what is intellect. I suppose you seem like a smart person. Different than my scientific mind, maybe, but still. I hear what you're saying, but none of it proves that I'll be all be, be all right if I get in that time machine, if that makes sense. What's, What's that? Even if this test fails, Professor B will eventually succeed, and then he just needs to jump back to the moment before this test. Uh... I don't know about that. I don't know. And that way, the machine from that successful trial will replace this initial failed prototype? Meaning I won't actually die in the canonical timeline? Hmm. <laughs> this is a lot of... This, this, you're making a lot of leaps here. The first of which being that he's actually a time traveler and can succeed in building a time machine. I feel like there's some circular reasoning in there somewhere, but I think I'm warming to, to the idea. All right, Professor. All right, a new time machine. I hope I don't regret this. You'll do it? Ha <laughs> ha! I'd expect nothing less from my intrepid man on assistant. And nice work with the smooth talk things. All right. Now that we have a test subject, let's get this party started. Hurry up and get the mirror mobile, Evan. I don't know about this, dude. I'm ready for you to send me to whatever dark corner of history you want, okay? What? What is happening? Roger that. The Ahimuk is online. Set in destination for 3,000 years in the future. Bevan, are you ready to slip the bonds of time and take flight into that bright and distant tomorrow? Absolutely! Uh, I think! Yes! Here I go! What is happening right now? When I talked to this guy, I did not expect this quest to lead to a time-traveling luxury car. Like, what, what's happening? Now, my precious Mira Mobile, smash through the walls of the fourth dimension and rewrite the laws of the universe! Whoa. Whoa. 
I love that it's still playing the new LA music for this dramatic car transformation. One, two, three, four, do 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 it didn't work. I made it? This is new LA three thousand years in the future. I guess it does kind of look vaguely more future y. Oh god. Huh? Your green man's distinct descendant, correct? No. No, I... Uh, no. Sorry. Okay. What, what? What in the name of Sir Isaac H. Newton? That sucker hasn't moved an inch. Why, damn it. I've been alive more than a thousand years, but this is a first. What could go on? Wait a minute. What are you all doing three thousand years in the... Wait a minute. What are you all doing 3,000 years in the future? Did you perhaps follow me here in, in another of the professor's time machines? Thank you for, for coming, professor. Are you folks ready to go explore the future? Lynn's just staring at the camera like, you've got to be kidding me. Play along. Let's play along. Look at the dead-eyed Lynn stare, dude. She's, she's very done with this. The total lack of change in scenery after 3,000 years is rather remarkable, don't you think? She looks like a doll, dude. Like, move. Move your body. I don't know. Um, they're all, I mean, they're all doing that. They're all just like, like, this over here. It makes me wonder what happened to civilization in all those years, doesn't it? Oh, will you stop talking already? Clearly, trusting you to pilot my machine was the biggest mistake ever. Damn. The numbers were there. It hit the threshold. If that wasn't enough, then... Then attempt encounter navigation may be the only option left for us. In theory, that should allow for even a special temporal axis. Yes, that is sure we did. I'm sorry to bother you again, kid, but could you bring me some of the topaz wine dropped by the primordial creatures called Tectinsulas? Get me that, and I'll drive my machine. I swear on it every I swear it on every speck of science in my brain. One, two, three, four. Do I already have said thing? Said. <laughs> well, did you get the topaz wine, kid? It's the last thing I need to soup up my magnificent miracle. Probably I did. Excellent work. I'll install it right now. Wait, why is the car gray now? There. Done. Behold! The counter navigation edition of my beautiful machine! It's my ultimate creation, capable of overriding every causal factor in mere and space time. Who's piloting at this time? A most astute question. I certainly can't trust that shrimp to do it. This time, I'll drive to the future myself. The perfect pilot for the perfect machine. There's not a sliver of a chance of there. See, now we're getting special music. This is goodbye for now. But don't worry, kid. I may literally be back before you know it. Send him off with a broad smile. I appreciate that, kid. Emotional goodbyes make me itch. Now then, it's time for the trial run! Setting destination time past the far side of the future to the time axis I once inhabited. <laughs> y 
you, Venom, and the others in this time have been a great help. <laughs> Thought I could have, though I could have done without the ones that attacked us. Thanks for everything, Green Man. Give Venom my regards. Take care and farewell. Even if this is goodbye forever, know that I'll never forget you. Don't forget me. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. Tear through that with her girl. We're off to the future. He's gone. So, uh, he actually was a time traveler? I guess? Disconnected from the server. What a strange... What a strange quest. Hmm? Where did Professor B go? Where did Professor B go? He asked me to buy these parts he, he was running low on. What? He went home to the future? Just like that? We did everything together all this time, and now he just takes off? Professor, he said he was great. He thanked me? I wish he'd said it to my face. If not for you, was he planning to leave without saying a word? <sighs> the man was a real headache, you know? Just thought y'all just have to get to work on building a new and improved mirror and mobile Mark II, I suppose. I'll ride it to the future and scare the pants off, Professor B. That'd be pretty funny, right? I guess I have a lot of study, uh, studying ahead of me, huh? Just you wait, Professor. That has to be one of the strangest side quests I've ever done. I would not have guessed when I first talked to the guy that I would be helping him build a, a time machine. That he was some guy from thousands of years in the field. Like, Why don't you check it is out? he actually from the future? I still don't really like like that's kind of since when is time travel a thing in this evil book? We lot you about the shot. Oh, I guess this is a shot. I think I need more stimulation, you know? It's really rather boring of me. Well, I decided to open a repair shop since I enjoyed tinkering with things, right? And I wanted to open an armor in an armor reality, but the rent there is just obscene. Instead, I opened this location, since the rent was zero. And you know what else is zero here? Customers. Maybe someday I'll be lucky enough to have a fascinating Xeno or two wander by and talk. Like Professor B? Dude, I think Professor B is probably the most fascinating person that could approach you. Like, what a strange character. Where is he on the, uh, the, the chain? The, the, great, the great chain of characters. It's, it's kind of difficult to navigate this chart. So you have to click on people's names to see any information about them, and then you have to like back out, and then you have to move it around again. No. Wow. Okay, so then it goes into Lao's team, which has uh, Shingo, Mondo, and Doug. Uh, Jules. I'm 
Oh, Eleanor. The only one she's connected to is, uh... Yelled. Yeah. Annoying woman. Actually a nice man. Professor B, dude. Shio Pitus. So many characters. Here's Murderous down here. Murderous. This curator's remarkable field skills are contrasted by a greed so intense she will betray even fellow blades. Oh boy. The Haba? little web of connections to Dart. Oh no, Dart's connect- that's- see what the lines are intersecting each other. That's weird and confusing. Uh, the line to Dart to him goes through this line between Shallot, Camilla, and Powell. That's strange. Sadie and McKenna with your sergeant. I remember talking to Wolf at the beginning of the game. He's kind of a fun character. Fun friend of greatest fear of being left in the These are the other players. Where's Professor B? Admiral Akmar. Akmar. Where's Professor B? Oh yeah, this is that side quest I did with the Sostanasa and Fozimir. The swearing no harm. At least that's what I think. The web of Tatsu Susu. The owner of a failing business and making beanies. Wow, she's connected to all the people. May May. The Tinker are working on a device that converts Myranium into cash. Seems useful. And the, uh, and the, uh, aha, here they are. Professor B. The gamer, the gamer himself. Wait, okay, what is the information? Race. B. Asterisk, asterisk, B. It's literally just B with a bunch of with asterisks after it. Gender, male, occupation, inventor. Age, 1260. A visitor from the distant future. Could this be what humans will look like in millions of years? Oh my god. The theory. The game theory. Gad. Such a noose. Gad wants bees technology. Like, what a strange character. There's just all these other people, then there's this guy who claims to be 1200 years old and from the future of an unknown race speaking random weird symbols. Fire! Graham the car sale. So there's a nice little web of connections. 